Oh man, we're in it now. What's up guys welcome back or welcome to the build now this weekend we're gonna try to go ahead and knock out all the wiring rerun the body harness back where it needs to go and then also run our new wires and then maybe just maybe we can start this thing up as it sits in here once we get everything ran but that kind of all depends on how easily this goes so let's get to it I'm sure you can tell I'm very excited about this all right, so there's our big old ball of wires down here. And now some of these go to the front of the Humvee for like the hood, the lights and everything like that. Some goes inside the cab and then some actually stays kind of in the engine well area there and connects to different things. Like there's a ground to the engine, stuff like that. So to try to make this a little bit easier, I got two different color tape here. I'm gonna use one color tape in order to basically kind of tape up ones that are going to run to the front of the Humvee. And then I'm gonna use another color tape in order to tape up the things that are going to run in the cab here. That'll make it easier on me so I can actually just look at the color real quick and know where it goes. Now I do have little tags on all the wires down there that tell me where they go. But when running all this stuff, it'd be a lot easier if I go ahead and just mark them uh, that way I can group them together and run them all as one. So I'm going to do that, crawl under there, start taping these up, and then we'll start running stuff. man we're in it now all right so i also brought in our heater here i went ahead and wired it up with a better plug than what came on here and now this in this also includes the ground wire i uh, just made sure that this ground wire matched the ground wire on the other side clean it up a little bit i still need to wipe it down some there it's still a little dirty before we install it back in the humvee also got the plug wired in here and then that'll tuck back up in there whenever that's mounted up there I also went ahead and mounted my little block off plate here for this air vent. Now you could still use the old one and everything, but mine didn't fit very well and I wasn't going to use it really anyway, but I basically made a little block off plate here and that has a seal underneath it as well. So it'll remain sealed through weather and everything. I cleaned up our main battery cables and also basically what plugs into the side there. That used to be actually almost black colored because it was covered with all that stuff. But I have that in place right now. It's just temporary. Everything is just kind of loosely mounted. I'll tackle everything else, including battery trays and stuff later on there. Well, it is already super hot out today, but we have our heater core installed here and our lines go back through the firewall. I went ahead and hooked everything up. Now this I will end up tucking up here later, up out of the way. Next thing I need to do, I ended up taking off these little plugs on here and plug into our windshield wiper. Basically now I'm going to go ahead and take all the tape off of there and go ahead and put our ends back on there and plug them into our correct ends. Once that's done, I should have room to go ahead and put our little tubing there that'll go to our vent on the other side. 
Now we'll run up and through this firewall side here and up into our little box here that controls which way it goes. So a lot of my body harness is already hooked up. A lot of that hanging right over here is actually just to instrument panel and some grounds up there. But now I'm working on trying to basically figure out where I want to run all the new wires and everything. Remember our old body harness, we need to run two of these relays off of our ignition in order to run our heater core system and then also our kind of our brake light system and stuff as well. That all went to the smart box before and we ended up taking the smart box off. So now we're kind of rerunning everything. Having to do a different kind of relay setup for that, but I'll show you all that whenever I get further into there. I'm gonna go ahead and start with hooking up that stuff up there. Try to get that wrapped up. Once I have that, I can start adding and adding. Once I get that done in there, I'll go ahead and kind of put in our engine harness and everything and try to run over where I think our ECM and TCM is going to go over there. Uh, yeah, this just looks like a mess right now, but that all is going to go on there. Every time I look at this, it makes me want to procrastinate even more, but I really need to get this done. So I'm going to get to hopping to this, show you all as I go. All right, we got our tubing ran up there that also we need to get that ran so we can make sure we have our wires in the right spot as well. Next to that, everything can tuck up okay. I also need to make sure we can get this other vent in place next to that tubing that's coming through there. So it's going to be kind of a tight fit back there, but we'll get it in place. I went ahead and put a 90 on our return line for our power steering there. Went ahead and tighten all those down, that down over there as well. Now I have a little filter here that's going to go in line before the pump. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it, but I'll figure that out later. It's sitting up there so I remember it. You can see my glow plug wire there. I'm working on trying to figure out where I want to run that. It is quite a big wire. We do have some heat shielding on it so I can run near that turbo. It's kind of a weird plug because that plug actually runs this way first. And I don't know if you're supposed to run it this way and loop it then back along that edge and back down like on the old truck if that's how it was or if my plug's just kind of weird I, I don't know so i may end up having to just loop it and go back or i may see if there's a path this way up underneath the engine and everything i will have to kind of check that out now it was a pain in the butt but i got our two circuit breakers back up in there one of those is for the heater core the other is i don't remember exactly but the other's for something the lights maybe the maybe the light i don't know i'd have to check the sheet i do know that one uh that we're not modifying any it does go to something that we need so it's staying there but our other one here i also need to run to power I need to run to our switch but we're getting there all right so i got a little bit more done i worked on our lift pump harness here i modified that up a little bit because basically where our lift pump he is, is like right there. So our plug wire really didn't need to go that far. So I needed to modify that up a little bit. That's ran connected in place. This is our, basically our trigger wire uh, for our relay. And then we have our power wires here, waiting for our batteries to go in. Our trigger wire runs up, the small little cable there runs through the wall. That'll run up into our ignition system. So whenever the ignition is on, It'll kick in that relay and allow the pump to run and then you'll turn it over once you let that pump prime just a little bit. Seriously, I'm trying to film here. All right, so we're a little bit further now. We have the engine harness on here, a bunch of stuff plugged in up there already. Uh, some of the wires here are just basically hanging out until I connect them but we're looking at probably this location for our mounts. Now, I am gonna to have to figure out a mounting system for this because, well, I don't have the original mount that this went on. I might be able to order one and kind of retrofit it to what I need here. Either that or I could just go ahead and make one myself. We will see. Of course, we have our little fuse block here for the engine harness also. That I'm hoping to go ahead and mount up here also, but I'm not real sure yet where or how all of that's gonna be mounted up there, so I haven't gotten around to mounting that. These wires here go to basically your ignition power, stuff like that. 
So one thing here, I started creating a little tray and this will hold our ECM, TCM. And then basically I'll have to weld a little bit to it in order for those to mount to this very well. But this will mount up front of the driver there. I still need to weld up all the edges and everything. So while it's still cool this morning, I'm gonna get to doing that first. So I don't have to get the welder out once it's 110 degrees in the shop. Also went ahead and bent up this little plate here. Now it bolts over here where the old kind of like uh, drainer thing was for the fuel so you could crack it open. I don't need that anymore. So that actually worked out well for a mounting point. And then on this side, I'll mount that up. It'll be a little bit more sturdy than that. But that'll be mounted there. That'll give me an area to go ahead and mount up our little switch panel box, all the relays and stuff in there. Then we'll have our two relays here. And these are the two relays that we needed to make in order to finish off our body harness that we have in here. And of course, another storm to slow me down. All right, so I know this all looks messy and there will be a top that I make to put on here to cover all this up, but our ECM, TCM are mounted down. They're pretty solid in there. I'm going up through basically where the smart box was with a lot of this electrical. All of this stuff will tuck down in. We have our little switch panel relay system here. That'll open up, allow us to get inside there. We shouldn't need to get in there too much though. Uh, our connections, basically our out connections here are right there so we should be able to get to those this runs up through there i am working on looming some of these wires uh, to put up in there as well and we're also working on wiring up our two relays here that are going to go right up in here so we have our one little switch wire here that goes to our ignition whenever ignition goes on these both trigger here so i need to go ahead and also do the two grounds into one and then i have two powers and those powers i need to run either to a distribution block i'd like to put a distribution block over here somewhere i don't know if i'm going to have enough room right now so i may just run some temporary wires all the way over to the battery posts uh, that'll do for now and then whenever I want to I can clean up those wires and put a distribution block up here somewhere Probably once I get kind of the cover here and everything back up I'll be able to tell where I can actually mount stuff Now sadly, this is where I'm going to have to stop it I do have to run a few more wires back up underneath to the battery box uh, Wires like this I actually have another wire in a loom So I'm gonna end up probably snipping this off and putting a connection up here also, these two here are also in that loom that are going to go underneath the engine. I'm going to try to keep as much clean up top as I can. We do have a few things run up there, but I think it'll look better if I go ahead and run it underneath. Now, the main reason I got to stop now is because I need to order some more parts. So the old setup on the Humvee with the 24 volt actually required a little bit bigger kind of connection points and everything for here. And it's hard to find connection ends for wires that aren't whatever zero 
cage, whatever those are, or bigger, I don't even know. Of course, this looks really bad in here, but everything's in here, now I just need to kind of rent it where it needs to go. But we're pretty close, and I'll be working on this during the week. Hopefully get this finished up during the week so we can start on our seat mounts and everything. All right, actually a couple days after I shot that outro, but I ended up getting in my end fittings here that actually fit this size wire, and it'll actually fit our post. So I got those in, that is our glow plug wire, so that's ready to go. Here is our starter wire, got that all wired up. I went ahead and put a heat shielding on it, uh, just because it does kind of get a little close to our manifold there. We also have our other little harness here that I went ahead and put our fitting on there to fit our post for our ground. Those wires go over to our switch panel and everything on that other side, the driver's side. So all this likely I'll get ran up under the engine. I would run it above the engine, but it'll kind of cluster everything up there. And then also if we ever need to remove anything or whatever, we can just unhook it from this side and, and push it over to the other side and do whatever we need. But so it should be fine there. Well, that's going to do it for us on this episode. Now I'm going to continue to work on that during the week, try to get it done and get y'all an update on next episode. But next episode, we're going to do something new so I don't bore y'all too much with all this wiring. So we're slowly creeping up on that thousand subscriber mark. Now, if we do hit a thousand subscribers by the time I get done with this build, I'm going to go ahead and hop into another build as well and I'll continue to film it. We'll try to keep this channel going. Uh, if I don't hit a thousand subscribers, I may stop it, but I don't know. I'm never going to stop doing projects, so we'll see. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the episode, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see y'all next time.